to take you through for jam part. I'm excited to show you a few new things as we take a look at this part. The first one that you're going to see right off is this area up here, which is called a detailed view. We're going to take a look at how to do that when we do our IDW. And that's just kind of similar to a section view, which we've already created, except on our drawing, which is kind of small, we can enlarge an area in order to show some of the detail that's in there. Okay, that's going to be for our islands up here. We're also going to be taking a look, if I zoom in on our front area here, we're going to be taking a look at first placing a bolt hole circle. That's an imaginary line that goes around the outside here that you don't see on the final product. However, you do need it in order to draw and place the circle centers. Okay, and those four holes are 0.25 going all the way through equally spaced. It also starts off at a 45 degrees, which we're going to show you that something new as well. Starting off, we're going to start with our three inch outside circle, which is this area right here. Okay, for that outside circle, and we're going to extrude it back 0.5 inches. Okay, some of the things that we're going to be taking a look at here today is we're going to be taking a look at some of these techniques where we're going to use construction lines and bolt hole circle. We're going to introduce a new tool to you, which is called a two point rectangle. We're going to be doing something new as well, fixed rectangular pattern for those islands. And when we start CNC milling, we'll do a stock box point for our origin and we're going to do a 2D contour cut. Also, we're going to be showing you how to enter into that detail view up here as well. Okay, so let's have a little fun today on for jam part. From our main inventor screen, let's go to new, standard IPT and click create. We're going to begin with a 2D sketch from our XY plane as always and click front in your world view cube. Starting off with my circle, I'm going to start at the origin, get my green dot, stretch out a circle. This is going to be three inches. Press enter on the keyboard. Green check mark, finish sketch. I'm going to go home. I'm going to extrude next. I want to extrude as always my first extrusion direction number two, which is that flip direction. And I'm going to enter in a distance here of 0.5. Press enter on the keyboard to show it and then click OK on your menu. Now that we have that part for the base drawn, let's take a look at these holes. We're going to have to enter in a vertical and horizontal sketch line, or I'm sorry, vertical and angular sketch line at 45 degrees. And we're going to have to place another construction line coming around here for our bolt hole circle, which is 2.25. Okay, so let's begin with that. 2D sketch on our front view. Click front in your world view cube, or you can click zoom all, a magnifying glass piece of paper on the navigation bar on your right hand side and we need to get those construction lines in there. So I'm going to come across, start at my origin with my line tool, and I'm going to make sure that I'm perfectly vertical, getting that vertical straightness snap to pop up that little gray box on the side. Click, press the escape key. I'm going to get another line starting from my origin, and I'm going to sketch out another line at an angle out here. Click to place it, press the escape key. Now let's dimension this to that 45 degrees. Get your dimension tool. We're going to dimension from the vertical line to the angular line and enter in a distance of 45. Enter on the keyboard or green check mark. Now we need that bolt hole circle coming around. And if we take a look at our drawing, it's 2.25 diameter. Okay, see that right here? Let's go back to our part. That's going to be done with a circle. So let's use our circle tool. We're going to place that at our origin, stretch out a circle, and this diameter is going to be 2.25. Enter on the keyboard. And now we need to place that point. So now we're going to come up to our top area in our ribbon bar. We're going to click point. And if you have to zoom in, that's fine, but I need you to lock on. The cursor is going to lock on to that intersection of where this angular line is and that bolt hole circle is. Once it locks on there, Click to place it, 
and now we're going to take and circular pattern that. We could also finish sketch and circular pattern the feature, but I'm going to circular pattern that sketch right now. So when I circular pattern, I'm going to select my geometry, which is just going to be that one point. Then I'm going to get my axis, the pick tool for my axis. I am going to click my origin, which is the center of my part. By default, it comes up with six. I'm going to change that to four. And I do want it to rotate 360 degrees. So click OK. Now I have those four points going around. I'm going to green check mark, finish sketch. The construction lines that are on here, we can just leave them. Green check mark, finish sketch. I'm going to select my whole tool. Now before we get going on this whole tool feature, let's take a look here. These four holes are a diameter of 0.25 and they go all the way through. Going back to our part, my whole feature up. I'm going to have a simple hole with no seat. I want to go all the way through, so my termination distance, I'm going to change from a distance to through all. And then my diameter, I'm going to change to 0.25. Once you have those things done, click OK. All right, next, let's take a look at our islands that are up here. On our front view, I can see I have one dimension here that positions my island a half inch up from the center. However, there's no other dimensions on here, and that's where I'm going to refer to my detailed view. So the overall dimension is 0.375 by 0.75 vertically for this island, and there's going to be a hole placed in the middle. Okay, let's start working on this. Going back to my part, I'm going to take a 2D sketch, place it on my front view. And right at the 12 o'clock position is where I'm going to start. This is a new tool for us. If we come up here to our rectangle area, the button that's on the bottom, I'm going to click on that and I want to go down to rectangle two point. And that gives me the center and one of the corners. So I can make sure that this is placed at that Y axis by my part. Two point circle. I'm going to come back up here and I want to be locked on to my Y axis. And I'm going to click, and I'm going to stretch out a rectangle. And the distance of that rectangle was 0.375 for the horizontal. Press the tab key. My vertical is 0.75. Enter on the keyboard. And now we need to position that for how high it is up off the center. So I'm going to get my dimension tool. I'm going to select my origin and the bottom of this rectangle that we just created. And this distance was 0.5. Okay, that looks great. Let's green check mark, finish sketch. We're going to extrude. And I don't remember what that dimension was. So let's bring up our drawing. We can come over here to the side and we can take a look at our drawing. This island shown here, we're going to extrude it 0.25 going in direction one or that default direction. Okay, going back to my part. So I have it in default direction, showing that it's coming out towards us, and I want to change my distance to 0.25. Okay, that looks good. Click OK. Before we revolve this around, or circular pattern this around, we're going to take and place that hole in there as well. So let's take a look back at our detailed view. The center of that hole is 0.188 in from the side and 0.375 up from the bottom. And those holes are a diameter of 0.25, but they only go a half inch deep, 0.5 deep. Okay? Let's go back to our part. We're going to take a 2D sketch, place it on the top of this island. And then I'm going to get my point tool, place a point on my part. I'm going to dimension from the left, right-hand side of that point up. And this is going to be 0.188, and that should put it right in the center. I'm going to dimension from the bottom to the point, and this should be 0.375 for a dimension. And that should perfectly center it top to bottom, right to left on this island. Okay, let's finish the sketch using our whole tool feature. 
coming down from the top again, I want to have a simple hole with no seat. I'm going to change my through all dimension or through all feature to a distance. I want to enter in a distance here. I want to enter in a distance here, 0.5, and a diameter of 0.25. Once you have that done, click OK. Now we're going to take and we're going to circular pattern that. So we're going to come up to our pattern area, click circular pattern, select my feature. Now I'm going to take both of these. I'm going to take the hole and I'm going to take the island. So I want to have two things that I'm going to be circular patterning. Then I'm going to select my rotation axis, the pick tool here, and I'm going to click the outside of my circle. Default, it comes up with six. We're going to change that default number to four. And then before I click OK, I want to have my fixed rotation on right here. And you're going to see what it looks like in my presentation here. It's going to keep them the same vertical orientation. Click OK. Looking good. Next, let's change our material type. Go up to the top, go to default, and we're going to scroll down and we're going to find smooth red. Right there, smooth red. And then we're going to go up to File. We're going to go down to Save As. Make sure that this is going into your H drive. Click on the pull down menu here. Go down all the way to first initial last name, 000, the gray box with your green line on it. We're going to give this a title of 4 Jam. And then your last name. And click Save. Great job. The next video is going to be how to run our tool pass, drilling these holes, and cutting around these islands that are up here. Stay tuned for the next part for our cam tool paths.